I'll just quickly take you through how to add testing to Unit Converter. So Unit Converter is downloaded from MSDN. Um, all I've literally done is convert it to Mango and add a snippet style um, which we'll see used. So the first thing you have to do um, to Unit Converter is to add a um, Mango package, uh, to add the NuGet package. So we will add test framework. So there are two um, packages. We want to add the app one. So we add it in. Once we've done that, then we will see that it's added in a um, reference. And the next thing we need to do is just go to app.cs and add in a um, one-liner, which is Windows Phone Test Framework dot client dot automation client dot automation dot instance dot initialize. There are options there about how you can initialize it, but for now that's perfect for us. Um, that's all you need to do for Unit Converter. We build that, it should just build. Cool, so that's that built. Um, the next thing we need to do is to add a new project. This project is going to be the test um, project. Um, and it's just a Windows class library. We're going to call it Unit Converter dot spec just because it's the specification for Unit Converter. We add it, we then go to the properties, and we convert the properties across to be a 32-bit, so x86. We then delete the class, we don't need a class in there. We then have the NuGet for, again, we're just going to do WP7 test. And this time we're adding the BDD part, so the um, test part. This will also add in specflow, nunit, and a few helper libraries. All of them are licensed under um, permissive licenses, so basically MSPL um, or equivalent. And there's an IT in there. Um, again, check obviously for your own organization, that's okay. Um, once you've added it, then you'll see that within app.config, um, there's a section at the bottom here of things you need to add in. Um, the only one that's a bit complicated is that you need to add in from the um, from this file from the WMAP manifest. You need to add in the GUID. Um, I'll just do that. The other things are all paths. You can use relative paths if you want to, or you can use absolute. Um, I've just got these in the snippets file ready to go, so I'm just going to copy those across. those in. So that's added that. Now we actually want to add a test. So to do that we're going to add a new item. And this is going to be a feature. So we choose specflow feature. We'll just call it specflow feature one. That's fine um, for test and demo. Right so what that creates is it creates a very um, open if you like feature which is just generic. We don't want to test a calculator. Let's zoom it again. We don't want to really test a calculator, we want to test um, our app. So I'm just going to copy in a quick test for our app. Again, I'll just copy them from the snippets. Right, so what is this? So it's a simple example, it's a feature. Um, obviously, you might want to call this thing out, like test for keypad works. Um, and uh, what it is is it says we're going to test keypad button 5 updates the input and result fields. So the first thing we do is given that my app is clean installed and running. And the next thing we want to do is take a picture and we want to check that the text block input value has value zero. Then we're going to press the button five. Then we're going to take a picture again. And then we're going to check all the fields have the values we expect. Yeah, so these names in this particular example correspond to names in the XAML. So if we take a look at uh, main page and text block category and friends, you will see here in the XAML. So um, these are names in the XAML, go down to the actual content, then you will see things like text block category, text block input value within the XAML. So that's all they are at the moment. You can also use tag fields if you want to, um, and I will write about that very soon. Um, okay, so that's a feature written. What you'll see is that behind that, it's actually generated a um, file, um, and that actually runs the execution. 
Um, you can, if you want to, put breakpoints in here to debug it, um, or you can just run the test. So let's just uh, make sure that you all believe me. Here's an emulator, brand new, booted, nothing installed. Um, and then we will just run the unit tests. We won't debug them for now. And when we run these unit tests, you will see, hopefully, I haven't done anything wrong, that the unit test will connect to the emulator. It will install the unit converter image, it will run the unit converter. It will uh, take the unit take screenshot, it will put five in, it will check the values, and then it will say, yep, that was perfect success. So that's a test written and run. Um, if we were to break the test, so let's, for example, say that we want, you know, four in there, then what you would see is, again, if I rerun that test, this time you will see that what it does, oops, I hit the wrong file, sorry. We run the test for the project. And what we see is it uh, connects to the emulator, please. Um, it uninstalls the file. It then reinstalls the file. It's reinstalling, it's reinstalling, it's reinstalling. Um, then it starts it. It uh, takes another screenshot. It uh, presses the uh, five button and then it checks the results. And this time, those results will obviously fail. And the reason it failed is because it says it expected four, it got five. Now, obviously, you probably can't see that. And I don't think I can zoom this one though, sorry. I can't make that take some while, Jeff. I can zoom this one. Um, you can see the content there anyway. If we actually take a look at the output directory, then in the output directory, let me just pull that across. In the output directory, in the bin, it's actually been running bin debug. We'll see there are some screenshots. So if I just change that to tiles, then you'll see that a couple of screenshots were actually taken. And you can use those in the reporting, which I can show you um, another time, because this is a very short demo, um, to actually uh, prove what happened in the app run. Um, so that's it, a very quick um, overview. We just ran that test within a few minutes of installing. Um, I hope that all made sense to you.